let's go ahead and remove the OEM trunk so I can put this duckbill trunk on. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is once you open it up, you're gonna go ahead and pull all these uh, little clips out and you take this panel off real quick. like this and it looks like it's just going to be disconnected from this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take this out. Yeah. Okay. I thought they were gonna take this boot off, huh? Okay. All right, and then next you need a T30 bit to loosen these and I already tried and just like everyone else, uh, other than Aaron, I, I stripped mine. So I'm gonna have to drill these out uh, but first, before drawing it out, you gotta take these off. How much for it? It's not for sale. So, right here, to get these, uh, the struts off, you, the hydraulic struts, you're just gonna take a screwdriver and you pry this out. So just like this. Stick this right here. And there you go. And then all you're gonna do is take this and it'll pop off just like that. See this one? There you go. All right, this is my first time using this uh, this speed out. So instead of actually drilling it out, this will actually reverse the, the stuck screw and pull it out. Let's see if it works. All right, so to get this bolt out, what you're gonna do is you stick this in here and then you drill a hole into it. And then once you get the hole in it, you flip this around and it'll unscrew it out. So let's see if this works. So go ahead like this. Make sure it's in reverse now, not forward. So lefty Lucy. All right, and then we flip it around. And off. That's a fucking, that's pretty sick. All right, so it looks like this isn't stripped, so how somebody stabilize it? The reason why someone stabilizes is make sure you don't like drop it into this rear win uh, window and crack it. So I was trying not to do that. Yes. You want the bird shit instead? All right. All right, it's a little daylight, so this will uh, look a little better here. Didn't realize how dark it was, so finishing, finishing this up, the struts here, what you do is you're gonna go ahead and you just pop it back on like this. Well, to pop it back on, it extends. So to get it down on here, you actually have to push down on the strut. 
and then it'll give you the space that's needed to hook it on that ball. And then this little clip that you pushed out, you're gonna go ahead and just push it back in. Snap that back in just like that. And snap this back in like, like so. <clears throat> Easier said than done, that one doesn't want to. So we're gonna give it the old one, two. Really? Okay. All right, once you have these snapped down on, uh, really, I got lucky. I already, the reason this fit perfectly for me is all I did is looked at where the lines were from the washer and I matched it up exactly where the outline was because uh, behind the washer, it's like the paint's wore away. So I just made sure they were exactly lined up and I guess I got lucky because my very first time, this trunk has exactly perfect fitment. So if you look here, the lines are exactly perfect. Go all the way down here. So I got lucky, there really wasn't very much adjusting at all. This is a very simple and easy install. All right. Yeah, I think it looks sick. It actually drastically changes the look of the car. It just looks more modern, honestly. All right, so then once you have these tightened back down, your struts put back on, uh, looks like I ran the, you wanna uh, run the wiring all through here, and then it goes up like this. So before that, let's go ahead and put, uh, looks like we're gonna put the cover back on here. Oh, before the cover, you're gonna wanna put, yeah, I didn't put the latch down at all. So I went ahead and removed the old one, and this comes with screws. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. I'm just going to use the old factory screws. Which I had laying right here. Alright, once you've gone ahead and run uh, the cabling back up through here, it goes like this. Go ahead and just put it back the way you found it. Snap these back in here. Well, if they snap back in, which they should. There we go. Snap this back in. Just go ahead and then hook these connectors back in. You should be good to go. There we go. And this one goes right on over the chair. Alright. Got that. Alright, and the final step is really just putting the cover back on. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna stick this full release through it. And then I'll put this right back over here. Start just closing this bad boy back in. Oh yeah, I forgot. So, out of the old bumper, you want to take uh, the bump stops right here. So these little bump stops like this, you're going to pull out of the old one and you stick right back in here. Like that. Okay.
and there you go. Both basically done. So I didn't have a problem getting this one in. For some reason, I can't get this one to go in. It's like the hole's not big enough. Huh. Fuck. Huh. Whatever. All right, and that completes the install of the Outcast Garage trunk. Let's go ahead and pull it out here in the sunlight and take a look at it here. What? There it goes. I was about to say. Good. All right, dude, that trunk is so goddamn good looking. All right, let's pull it out here and see. Check this trunk out in the sunlight. Got a little dust on the car from sitting out there. But you can see the fitment on it is perfect. Like the lines, it's exactly perfect. This trunk fits perfect. 